We are at Seoul Station. No, this will not be about the bustling main station of Korea's capital handling more than 100,000 passengers per day. A few meters away, you'll find the old station building, built in 1925 and recently transformed into a premier national multidisciplinary cultural facility. What that means, we're going to find out. The history of train service in Korea goes back to 1899. The Mughal linked the port of Incheon to Norangjin station in Seoul. By 1905, the rail tracks had been extended from Pyongyang to Busan, and finally, in 1925, this impressive station was opened. Its Baroque and Renaissance-inspired architectural design was adopted by the South Manchuria Railway Company, with architect Tsukamoto Yasushi heading the design operations. Yasushi was a student of a pioneering Japanese architect, and thus, the building resembles many other stations the Japanese built, like Tokyo Main Station. Despite its undisputed status as one of the nation's finest examples of colonial architecture, its future became unclear in 2004, when the new station was built to accommodate the KTX bullet train, leaving the old station unused and abandoned. It was eventually concluded in 2009 that the historical landmark was to be restored and remodelled as a cultural facility. The building also got a new name, Culture Station Seoul 284. In April 2012, the station was reopened to the public. The original exterior remained intact, but inside, while the ornate wood panelling and green terrazzo staircase were restored, some damage was left, as it was a reminder of Korea's past. Located on the first floor are the main hall and lobby, where one can find a dome and its 12 stone pillars, as well as waiting rooms for the third class, ladies and VIP. Former presidents Park Jong-hee and Lee Seung-man have also been here. The second floor, which used to house a barber shop and restrooms, now holds an exhibition displaying old relics of the station. The rest of the building also frequently shows exhibitions featuring contemporary Korean artists. The place is also of special historical significance, as mass protests have been held on the square in front of the station, most notably the May 1980 protests when 100,000 people gathered here protesting against the military regime ruling South Korea. It is clear that careful consideration has been put into preserving the appearance and value of the place as a historic site, while at the same time reflecting the renewed purpose of the building as a place of diverse cultural intersections. So the site combines the notion of a cultural space and historic landmark, and is definitely worth a visit.